Joining us now live from Arizona is Arizona Representative Kelly Townsend to offer her perspective on this latest revelation surrounding Senator Reid and his son. Thanks so much for joining us. Hi, you guys. Thanks for having me on. So what's your reaction to this recent turn of events? Well, I'll tell you what. You always have to fact check stuff and make sure, you no, know, this isn't just a wild accusation or you know, some rumors are really getting crazy out there. So I decided to Google the, break, the groundbreaking that supposedly happened last month. So I did indeed find it on a reputable, non-crazy, you know, news source. Right. And, um, you know, and so then I wanted to see, well, where is this town and its relationship to the Bundy Ranch? How close is it? I'm in you have the entire state that this could have happened in. I Googled it. I map quested it. And, you know, I, I did the two cities, Mesquite, and I can't pronounce the, the, other, the location of it. But um, those two are 30-something miles away, and then when you move the little bullet point to the ranch itself, it's actually 26 miles to the west of the Bundy Ranch. Well, Kelly, I believe the concern over this comes from the fact, and, and uh, as you know, being a state representative in Arizona, when, when I right. served in Congress, there, there were any number of federal land swaps. And so while a lot of national opinion leaders who may not be versed in the politics of the West see this, they go, oh, there's a distance. So it's not directly related. What's important to keep in mind, and this is part and parcel of a federal role, and certainly uh, happened during my time in Congress, on any number of occasions, you would take non-government land and effect a swap. And so that may be part of what is in the works with this. But of course, another, another angle to this, uh, Arizona State Representative Kelly Townsend, is the whole notion of so much of the land inside Western states, like, like Nevada and Arizona, right. being under federal control. <laughs> As you take a look at this, is this an emerging issue for states like Arizona? Because ostensibly, after Arizona conferred all that land to the federal government as a territory, eventually that land was supposed to be sold back in the private sector. Do you expect, I believe we call this the enabling clause in, in the Articles of Statehood, do you expect Arizona and other western states like Nevada to follow the lead of Utah and take action dealing with that enabling clause? Well, there's a lot of discussion about that, but let me, let me ask you this. You have a situation where clearly it's unfolding to make a lot of sense that you don't want where there is now free range, where cows can, can freely go anywhere they want on this land. Obviously, if you have a solar panel there, you don't want a cow running into it. So you, the, the rational person would say, okay, this is federal land. We're going to fence it so the cows can't come on it. And, you know, and that's the easy solution to just fence it and say you can't come on here anymore. What they chose to do was round up these cattle, break the water infrastructure, surround the property with snipers, throw a 50-year-old cancer survivor to her knees so hard that it tore her pants, uh, pushed her with a vehicle when she was in the way, just instead of parking the vehicle and getting out and removing her, they chose to continue rolling whether they ran over her or not. Unbelievable tactics on how to clear this land so that they could put up solar panels. I can't recognize my country, and that's how we handle these very simple solutions that didn't have to escalate to this point. These simple solutions could have prevented all of this. And instead, that's how they handle it. So will they allow us to now uh, the Enabling Act and, and move forward and return the land? It doesn't look like they're motivated to do that. It looks like they're wanting to just do what they will with this land by brute force. But Representative Townsend, did they not, I mean, the project that we were talking about earlier with Reed, um, that project was terminated back last summer, 2013, correct? Because they didn't think then that this area did, could. Why do I have a? Why do I have a, a an article from March of last year showing Harry Reid breaking ground? I, you know, I, I we're a little bit busy here, and I'm, I don't have all day to sit and research this. But I read yesterday from March 2014, Harry Reid with shovels, first solar with shovels, and an Indian reservation uh, group with shovels breaking ground in March of 2014, 26 miles to the west. Of, of the Bundy Ranch, that doesn't look like it's terminated to me. What, what am I missing? Do I have bad information here, or what's going on? Well, what I have is of June of 2013. It was actually terminated. 
But regardless okay. of that, go inside, your concern, yeah, go your concern more is with things. the tactics that were used, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. Right. That's what, you know, and it's no question that the, the fees weren't paid, and I can't defend him on that. Uh, I, I do have a sympathetic understanding as to why he's protesting. There was 33 ranchers in business, along with the federal regulations, put them all out of business. And, and Bundy's say, you know, your, your regulations are too tough for us to maintain our, our way of life that we've been here since the 1800s. I understand. Uh, but but what I saw with Margaret Houston, the way they treated her, throwing her to the ground and surrounding them with with, right, with snipers and, and, you know, instead of, okay, fence the land if you don't want the cows on it, fence it. Uh, you know, and so it's just, it's, it's hard for me to absorb that this is how they've chosen to handle this situation. But what do you think is going to happen now? Because they gave back the cattle, they're off the land, what should happen next? And John Bachman brought this up last week. Is that fair to other cattle ranchers in the area that are paying grazing fees? Okay, well, I, I think that Mr. Bundy needs to pay his fees. I think the Americans, if they feel so inclined, might want to help him do that. You know, and let's find a peaceful resolution. And, and you know, down at Home Depot, I just fenced the pasture, and for a roll of uh, 100 feet of, of fencing, it, it's, you know, 70 mm -hmm. bucks. You know, so buy some fence and fence it off. And, and what's the big deal? It's open range right now. You can't tell a cattle, the cattle they can't go there. So put the fence up and end and the story. I, I'm not getting why this has to be a, a, a Waco situation. Well, unfortunately, it didn't come to that, at least not yet. And, and Representative yes. Townsend, well, we, we've heard Cliven Bundy say that one of his motivating factors here is to hopefully disarm the BLS and other federal bureaucracies. Do you agree with him that these groups, like what we've seen, some of these paramilitary tactics, they need to be winded down and maybe stop arming uh, these different uh, federal agencies? You know, my, I've got family that's in Border Patrol, and, uh, you know, of course... We're not talking about Border Patrol, our, we're talking about groups like I know, BLS I'm, I'm getting or, there. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. You know, that's an agency that I can see would need to be armed. I can't imagine the post office needing to be armed, or the Weather Service, or, you know, or whoever else it mm -hmm. was. I heard this morning that they're, they're arming. It doesn't make any sense. It, it, it leaves it to your imagination as to why they're doing that. And when I say Waco, let me just clarify, I don't mean that it did turn out like Waco. I'm saying they surrounded the property like they surrounded, you know, it, it's just it's a little over the top. So anyway, uh, no, I don't, I don't see that we need to arm all these federal agencies, and, and I, I don't like seeing the direction we're heading. Kelly Townsend, we appreciate your input. We know it's a busy day at the Arizona State Legislature, and we thank you for bringing us up to date on your perceptions of what you saw there at the Bundy Ranch in Nevada. Appreciate your time very much. Interesting, Kelly brings up the point. You brought it up too, John. You can read about it at Newsmax.com. The U.S. Postal yeah, Service uh, asking for ammo way over the top. Ms. Townsend also referencing NOAA. The, the, the weather agency also needing ammo for whatever reason. We'll find out, hopefully, but we may never hmm. know. Right in, you can find us on uh, social media. We'll be back right after this.